guys, Retro Tech Ralph here, ZX Spectrum, my plus three, this is the second one I actually have, well had, I got rid of the other one, so I couldn't get the motherboard working and I didn't actually, I actually did the um, recapping on that one but there was something wrong and it didn't work and I don't know what. So what I've done with this one, motherboard out with the plus two grey, everything's over there in pieces apart from the motherboard. Now this is a completely, let me get that in the middle, a completely decapped motherboard for either for the grey plus twos. I mean, I'd love to get uh, the full set of these in and see exactly what all the um, differences are. But then again, there's always the internet. There has plenty of stuff out there. So what I'm gonna show you what I've done so far is I've done the, um, the change rounds with the transistors because they've just been screen printed wrong. That TR4, which is there, is the wrong way around. It's screen printed to show that it's that way around. The moon, half moon's the opposite way around, but it, it was put in wrong. These are constructed differently. So TR4 was changed. TR5 is also changed there, upside down. TR6 was, was, was stayed as it is. TR7 was actually upside down as well. See the half moon shape of it, the flat edge here, and it's screen printed underneath it the opposite way around. I've actually swapped around TR8 as well, because there was a video that I was following, they showed that. That's actually the wrong way around. I was watching parts, I'll try and put a description if I remember in the um, link in the description below. But that was actually showing that one of the pins on here, I think comes up to maybe up here, another one on the collector there or whatever this part is here that it was it was actually the wrong way around so technically that it was the TR8 was the wrong way around now the picture quality of this before I decapped it was absolutely brilliant way way more but then again, that's because I'm using that people never notice these because you always use the TV the RF modulator so it wasn't a thing that you actually saw because you plug it into television, done. And you'd never realise because that is a better quality picture. But it doesn't work very well. You could see it, which was very bad. So you'd take it back to shops and they'd obviously look at it and move what chains, bits and bats. So you would have a good system eventually. But this is how they figured it out. This is how we figured it out. So I really like this board. It's a really good quality board. I mean, I've dropped myself on there a little bit with some extra bits and bats, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to recap this one now. I'm not going to show you, because you've seen one before anyway, because I've got a video already of the recapping on that one. So, leave me alone for a bit. I'll figure out which one of these caps is what. A nice box of extra caps, just in case. So at the minute, I'm going to sort out. I need to desolder the back a little bit on some of the holes. Actually, if I do have problems, because the, there's a couple. Is there a capacitor there now? There's a capacitor here, number six. And the holes aren't bad, actually. I think I'll probably get away with most of them. The couple of that felt a little bit difficult pulling the caps out afterwards. I think it was these down here. But that's how it shows you so easily. I showed you before on them, like these two next to the multi-plug here for the cassette deck. It just shows you the plus and minus on the board, it's just too easy. The minus is obviously the part on the capacitor which has the big, thick, white part on, which is that part there. The rest of these are blue, and then got a white part on there, so it's pretty easy to follow. So let me get on with this. I've got another modification to do on this anyway. I think Chris has made me aware of. There's an audio problem as well. So leave me alone for half an hour and get back to me in a minute. Soldering and recapping done on this one. So I'm just going through a quick go through on this anyway. If you're not confident in capping, don't do it. If you are, get on with it. But all caps, nice new, some blue, some black. Well, a few black. 
but that's done. That's going to go back into the. Um, um, should we put it back in or should we just strip? Well, that's... While you're here. Oh, damn it. With a towel. Towel's a good idea, but I think some other soft material, because all this lot gets caught to it. So let's put in the regulator. Let's find a. Oh, I'm still done from the last video. Okay, that's the um, DIN plug for it. Oh, it's upside down. Where I'm looking, it's upside down, so that goes in. That's quite tight in there, anyway. So, all I need is that goes into the audio socket, which there's still, like I said, there's still more mods to do on this. Cable with a backwards polarity. And let's get this thing on the right channel. Um, should be AV2. Okay. Spectrum's on. Specky is on, and that's a lovely picture. I think there's a, there's a, I don't know if you can see, but this is, my eyes are showing, there's the kind of lines up it, but I think, I know it's this television. It's a really old crummy TV, but I've got nothing else to use anyway, so, and I don't really want a new one just yet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off and plug this thing in. Ah, so let's keep myself then. There's a television popping, so as I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you this as the um, the div MMC from the future was 8 bit, it does slot onto the expansion port one way only. Pretty simple enough to use. I need the keyboard actually. I've already recapped inside here anyway because there were spares from the last one because all I did was, was recap the board but I never recapped this board on here for the tape deck but they've already been done you can see there's blue on there need to reassemble do I? yeah because there's a power cable on front there's a power light on front so ribbon, larger ribbon cable there well at least showing that now does show it's on and it works better than the last one Let's see if there's any metal there that I don't need to touch. To be careful of the ribbon cable itself, I don't want to break anything. So, cable back in and on. Light on. Spectrum is going a little bit roly. Hmm. I don't think that's normal. Let's turn power off. Let's put it back on again. What I've forgotten, let's put that in. So, cards in, it's loading all this lot. Okay, so, future's 8 bit is in. Oh, cool. Right, I have instructions from future's 8 bit as well. Loading, 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 bad commands, load logo. Menu. Oh no, hold on a minute. You just press the button on the on the thing. Right, everything's controlled by the the eight bit here. All you do is press the red button, and that turns green, reboots the computer, and makes it go squidge. So that's not right. There we go. Better. I don't doubt this is actually working. There we go. Right, so system directory. System error five. Reboot. I don't know what I've done here. Let's fully power off and on. The div MC is going through everything. There's an error on the RTC. Ah, there we go. That's better. Right. CBMs, Commodore, ZX, ZX. Right, everything is out of order. What the hell? Is this supposed to be ABC? Oh, I've got a, a few games on here. Why is M up there? A, B, C, D, F, G, I, J, K, L, M. I had to look at that. I think these are the old, the M and the P have got 
other stuff in them. Right, I'm going to go as far as I can for my usual. I think if you know me enough, I'm going to go for Elite 128. Load a new commander. Nope. Space. Commander Jameson. There's a wobble on the screen, and I don't know if it's a resolution or another fix that's needed. <coughs> well, that sound sounds good. Okay, so... Oh no. Okay, SX, do I go... Ah, it's old-fashioned, yep. Yeah. Here's fire. Yeah, it's the same as Elite Dangerous as I play myself. So, speed up, slow down with the dot, left spin, M, right spin, N, S and X, and A, S, X is down and up, and fire is A. Some other ships coming out. Now that's like a python to me, I'm not sure about the other one. Pathetic, isn't it? Trying to tap it like I do on um, Elite Dangerous. Is that an anaconda actually? Hmm. Front view there. Let's turn that off so you can see top corner screen. Because I do play Elite Dangerous the same as what you used to be able to. Slow down a little. Turn around. Slow down a bit more. There you go. Come on. No docking computer needed. <laughs> And I just press one again. Damn it! <laughs> Stop. Spin around. Can't believe I just did that again. Well, either way, does it get two does rear view, three does left, four does right. So there's two ships going away from me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Don't. Now, G, galactic map. No. H, hyperspace. No. Let's go front view. Let's keep spinning around. Let's redock. Right, let's go barrel rolling into the. <coughs> oh, yeah. No. Boom! So, Future's 8 bit card working finally. So, all you do is two buttons on here one for a reset and one that's lit up. That will take me back to the main menu, as you can see there. I've got everything back to as it was. So, if I'm going to reset everything, that's showing green because it's it's working. Press that to reset, fully reset the spectrum there. So to go into, you press, which is now illuminated red, goes green, and then comes back into the menu. Who needs video capture? Ah! So, let's go from the left and right, there we go, yeah. Left and right brings you down a page on E. There's a lot on here. So what game should we play? Should we go break? No, not go break. I don't go back. We go to the top on double dot, don't I? Yeah. What games did we used to play on here? I don't know what I used to play. R type. Tap menu. Wow. And this was one hell of a game. I love this game. It's been programmed by Bob Page. Uh, finally, I had the keys to figure out. This is probably a joystick game. Come on. Is there every key on the... Um, the keyboard here. Yeah. Okay. Is that the way I've had to do? Right, rewind. Side two and pressing the key. Okay, that was very easy. Left. Right. Up. Down. Fire. Detach. around for configuration. Maybe not. Damn it. 
<laughs> you held it in, you get a bigger... A bigger shot. Come on, why isn't there not a... Um... Give MMC in and working and reset. Right, I'll put this back together and put you in the right place and I'm gonna come back in a second. <laughs> right, I'm back again. This has been a while actually. I've put this together and I've been playing, sorry. Um, so, yeah, absolutely works perfect this. I've took out, I actually did a mod on this one. There's actually a, a C21 chip, which does a little bit of noise. Apparently it sends the noise down the um, composite of the, um, of the video of the grey. So if you remove it, it removes that noise. There is a, a, a you can put an extra um, capacitor on there, but I'm not sh exactly sure what and where. So some instructions do tell you just take it out. Some instructions do tell you take it out, but do this. But it's not clear exactly, but it does state that if you can take it out, you can get rid of it and it's not an issue anymore. So, but I've done that and the picture quality on on the spectrum is absolutely ridiculous. It, it's almost, this telly is crap. I want to mince words with that. This telly is absolute crap. But the quality on this is just absolutely ridiculous. A little bit of blue in around the whites, but I have got this from absolute bilge on an RF signal to this is just ridiculous but now I'm gonna go I'm gonna just play a game now this was recommended by um, by uh, there's a television show in 1984 in Scotland only that um, yeah, he's always 1984 apparently in in, in Scotland but um, yeah he recommended that I actually play the game gauntlet now I have played gauntlet before but only on the arcade, on the Atari ST. I've never played Gauntlet on here. Okay, off we go. Press space to continue. I need a, oh no, I'm gonna need a, what do you call it, oh no. Joystick, 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 joystick. If only I had a joystick to hand, I don't. Damn it. Choose that one, yes. Can I go? I'm gonna be Thor. Oh. I have to be keyboard. Right, so up down is A and Q. Left and right is S and D. And fire is Z. Okay, we've got that one. Magic is caps. So Q, A, S, and D, and Z. I don't care about player two. Come on. Start the tape. It's very strange how this loads in. Start the tape. Oh dear. I get the impression this doesn't work. Thanks, Derek. That doesn't seem to want to work through this. Maybe I'll have to buy the tape. Okay. I'm going to give you one more game. Let's have a look. Let's go back. Um, I probably used to play football manager a lot. I don't think I want to. I'm playing Blue Bruce Lee actually quite a lot as well. That might be a bit more interesting game to show you. It's actually fully working. Da -da 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 -da. Bomb Jack. Bomb Jack, I think, was more 
of a C64 game than a than a Spectrum game. The R U C E Brusle Tap. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, right. Control. A little bit of interference. A little bit of stuff on the screen there. Shot that as a Z. M to punch. Q A. Up and down. Left and right. O P. So we're up there, and then anything on the bottom row to punch. Okay. Let's enter to begin. Stars. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to play that, did it? A little bit of fe fettling, I think, to be done. Other than that, all working perfectly. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with that. Absolutely happier than a happy thing at Happy Land. Being happy with a. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, massive, massive thank you to. Oh, where are we? Please go to the future was 8bit.com. Absolutely massive thanks to them. These, the card that they, they do for these is absolutely stunning. Go through, get one. If you, if it is essential for anybody with the spectrum, future was 8bit, you need to go and get one. This is the um, Dave MMC card for the Spectrum. They do ones for the, the Commodore series. This will fit on any any Spectrum at all. Every single one. Plug into the back and use a port and you'll be able to play any game you want. You have to find them, obviously. But it's it's just, it is a, for nowadays, it's essential. So a big, massive, massive thank you to the futurewars8bit.com. If you'd like to send me a free Commodore one, I'll be... Um, really happy if not i'll be ordering one pretty soon anyway so big thanks to you guys absolutely stunning work you do and absolutely love this this is such a good quality for the card for the mmc card love it so that in mind i'm gonna tell you a lot to bugger off and i'm gonna start playing some more games thanks for watching like subscribe consider being a patreon share this wherever you want get my name out and see what's what we've got loads of videos on here if you're getting bored with doing this one have a look what else I've got. I've got absolutely tons of stuff on the on the channel for you to have a look at. And if not, comment below to see what you want me to do. If you want to donate something, I'm I'm well up for any sort of donation, tech or or whatever. If you want me to to strip it down, give me some suggestions of what to do. And with that in mind, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.